The human issue, we all know that we are going to be a hell of a lot of people in a very short time. At this stage, we need about half a billion kilos of protein, almost a billion kilos of um, carbohydrates, and 26 billion liters of water per day. Half of what we produce in terms of crop is not eaten. And it's not for because it's, it's mostly cosmetics. In Europe and in England, a lot of the food gets thrown away because of cosmetics. You know, the cucumber isn't like this, it's like this, so we don't eat it. So the pear isn't like this, it's like this, so we don't eat it. So the orange has got a little spot, we don't eat it, so it all gets chucked. So about half of what we produce gets thrown away. And we are consuming far more animal protein than is needed, especially here in Africa and South Africa. We are spoiled with animal proteins. But we can't really go vegetarian, because if we all go vegetarian, that figure would more than double. And we don't have this one that says human fecal matter 2.1 times 10 to the power of 12 tons per annum. <laughs> That's substantial. It would double. And because of the high fiber content of that, we won't have sewage systems to actually utilize that. So be careful. Don't all, please don't all go vegetarian. All right. A billion people don't have safe water. We have to water our crops, we have to water our animals, and we need water to wash down the factories. You know, everything we eat, we take it to the factory and we package it. We wash it, and then we package it. So that needs a lot of water. Then there's trapped water. This is the funny water. That's all the water trapped inside of us. You know, right now we are this many people. In a little while we're going to be two or three or four times that. Each one of us contains a lot of water. Because we are all these people on this earth, <coughs> We are terrified of running out of food, so we are canning food, we are sealing food, we are freezing food. All of that contains water. Then we create a lot of waste, and that waste lies in dumps, and it contains a lot of water. I received some lab analysis today, back today, of the, 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 the food waste from the Nielsi. 70% water. We take that and we put it on a compost heap, it takes eight months to break down. 70% water lying there, dirty water lying there. So other than the water that we need, there's this trapped water, which we can't really calculate at this stage, which we don't see. So that water has to, has to come out again. That water has to get back into the water cycle. Consumer acceptance is the one thing which is difficult in a Western nation. Insects is not a famine food. Insects is a, is a, is a food of choice for something like 80% of the world's people. 80% of the world eat insects. It's just us Westerners who sort of, oh, you know, it's got six legs. Do you eat crayfish? It's got more legs. <laughs> Do you eat prawns? They've also got more legs. And they are actually just the insects of the sea. We don't have insects in the sea, but they do the same job in the sea as what the insects do here. If you look at the biomass of insects, if we take out all life, in the world that we can see and we just leave insects, we'll still have more biomass than what we took out. So what we can't see in terms of biomass, in terms of the insect, it's phenomenal. It's amazing to see how much, how much protein, how much life we have, which, which we don't see. And we've neglected it. We've sort of not looked at it. I went to an entomology conference in 2011, all hyped up. I'm going to tell these entomologists about farming with insects. And I got there and I attended 449 lectures on how to kill insects. And I presented one lecture on how to farm with insects and everyone was like... <laughs> the last lecture we went to, we had a whole workshop, the last conference which was now, we had a whole workshop, one and a half days on mass rearing of insects. So from 2011 to 2015, there's been a substantial change and we're not just looking at killing them, we're actually looking at, at farming them. So that's very nice. Consumer acceptance, it's all about how you present it. Would you eat a chicken that ate maggots? No. Very simple. But would you eat a chicken which actually ate its natural food? Yes. So it's all about presenting it. Look at the cows and the sheep of the bug world. We've got crickets and we've got grasshoppers. Take off the legs and the wings and it looks like a little shrimp or a prawn. They taste like, these guys like, like, taste like macadamia nuts. Those guys like, taste like pecan nuts. They are really very nice and they work excellently in salads, stir fries, anything like that. Once you've tasted it, you would eat them again and again and again. All right. 
It's just a mental thing. Just get over it. Just think again. 